So I wanted to just record this quick video for you because I was reflecting this morning as I was getting ready, I'm just thinking about my birthday and the word that came to my mind was new. And I know it might sound a little cliche to be like, okay, new year, new birthday, right? New age, right? And the word new, but that new, the word new was so strong in my spirit. And the reason being is just a couple of months ago, maybe about a month and a half ago or so, I was talking to someone and I said, one of the things that I really struggle with, and I don't know why, is the belief that in Christ, I am a new creation, um, according to Second Corinthians. And I said, sometimes I really struggle to believe in my identity in Christ. And I struggle to accept that I am forgiven. And sometimes I can, you know, hold on to the old and not walk in the new. And so it was very powerful to me this morning as I was getting ready. And the word new was just so strong in my spirit because I say this because I finally felt new. I finally felt that I am a new creation in Christ Jesus. I finally felt that the old has gone and that I was new. Because prior to that, I struggled with shame and condemnation. I struggled with the fact that I walked away from the Lord and outright denied him for about seven years. I struggled with the fact that in my past, I was a party girl. I was a club girl. I was a girl who partied like five times a week. <coughs> I used to overconsume about five times a week. And I used to go, I was like, I was living a double life. I was the party girl, but yet I was the career woman who had an amazing career in corporate finance doing amazing things. And so um, I struggled with the fact that I would look to men for my affirmation and to validate who I was as a person and the fact that I gave myself away in, in that manner, because I was looking for love and acceptance and affirmations in areas where I had no business, because I did not know, <coughs> I know my voice sounds weird, uh, because I did not know who I was in Christ. I did not know Christ. And sometimes, even though I grew up knowing Christ, I did not have that personal relationship with Christ. And then once I did accept Christ as my Lord and Savior, it took a while for his like for just his words to seep so deep into my soul that it pushed out the shame and condemnation that the enemy wanted me to focus on that it will push out my past and replace it with a newness it was like the lord was emptying me of the pollution of the condemnation of the sin and he was filling me up with him because the Bible talks about being emptied and being filled, being empty with the old and being filled with the Holy Spirit. See, when I accepted Jesus Christ, I became new. I received the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was in me. But yet I struggled to believe and accept that he was in me. That it was the Holy Spirit that was my guide. And that I was not my past. I am not that person anymore. I struggled with really identifying myself only as a single mom, not in like the single mom empowerment stuff that I do, but really to be like, oh my gosh, like how could you make the mistake of being with that person to be a single mom? Don't you know your parents are still married? So you can't even give your children what your parents gave you. And I struggled with that for a while. And I remember I've told this story before about how I shut down Effing Phenomenal in the past because I kept looking at single motherhood as a, from a place of proving instead of a place of resting. I placed my identity in single motherhood. I placed my identity in the baggage of that term. And I did not place my identity in Christ Jesus. And it was just so interesting that this morning, it was just like, I finally felt new. I finally felt that I am who I am, that I am in Christ Jesus. And my identity is in Christ. I'm not defined by my past. I'm not defined by my marital status. I'm not defined by the fact that I'm an unwell mom. I'm not defined by my career. I'm not defined by my business. I'm not defined by whoever, whatever else somebody says about me. I'm not defined by whatever somebody else thinks that I am. I'm not defined by how I was perceived in the church when 
they refused to dedicate my kids initially because I'm a single mom. I am not defined by my hurts. I'm not defined by my pain. I'm not defined by my wins. I'm not defined by my accolades. I am defined by Christ. And that is who I am. And this is why it was so powerful for me to have that revelation of newness. Because when we accept and understand our identity in Christ, when we understand that we are new in Christ, we are new creations. The old is gone and we are new. When we understand what, um, I think it might be Philippians 3 or 4, where it talks about, I turn from the old and I press forward to the new. I'm striving towards the goal of Christ. When we replace our thoughts, our mindsets in terms of what it is that we value, who it is that we are, we're better equipped to be the moms that we're called to be. We're better equipped to be the people who God has called us to be because we are secured in him and we're not swayed by the opinions and judgments of men. We like the Bible says to fear the Lord and not men. But when we understand who we are in Christ, we're better equipped to fear the Lord and not fear men because too many of us are missing our purpose, our destiny and the things that we're supposed to do because we're too busy fearing the judgment of man and we're not supposed to do that. And so I say all of that to say is that like, I just feel like that this is a season of new. Maybe it's just me because it's my birthday today, but it really feels like that God is calling us to new heights, new places, new trust, new levels in him. And that requires trust. That requires a, a properly placed identity. That requires an understanding of who God is and who you are in Christ Jesus. And the sacrifice of the death of the cross, sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross. And what that means, it means that according to Romans, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And so if you're in a place where you're feeling condemned, if you're in a place where you're feeling worn down, if you're feeling yourself in a place where you're stuck, stagnant, or in a rut, take off the yoke of bondage. Take off the yoke of old and walk in the gift of the newness of Christ. Study scriptures on identity. Study scriptures on who you are in Christ Jesus. Who God is. Because if you don't first understand who God is, you will never know who you are. You will never be able to know the purpose that God has for you. You will always be lost. Looking for affirmation in the wrong places. Looking for accolades in the wrong places. And missing the mark. And it's not necessary. Because in Christ, we are new. So let go of the old. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Because we have to also remember that all things work together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. See, I remember when I first became a single mom, when I was pregnant and four months pregnant, I, I didn't understand how God was going to redeem it. I was in so much pain. I was so broken hearted. But I see now, seven years later, how God has redeemed it. God has positioned me to birth a ministry that can affect millions of single moms positively around the world. He took my pain. He took my brokenness. He took my shame. He took what I was condemning myself over. And he worked it for good and redeployed me. So I challenge you to study Zechariah, uh, I think it's three, where God took the um, clean the priest Joseph, is it Joseph off, high priest Joseph off, and he put him in a new garments, a new head, a turban of all white. And in that, he forgave him of his sins. He told Satan to shut up and stop trying to issue condemnation and judgment against this man. And God redeployed him. And God is doing the same for you. So you don't need to hold yourself hostage to your past. You don't need to hold yourself hostage to what other people have said about you. And you don't need to hold yourself hostage to your brokenness. Because in Christ, you are a new creation. And God is redeeming the years that the, um, that the locusts have stolen. What is it? God is redeeming the years that the locusts have eaten, right? He's redeeming all things. Just trust in him. Allow him to order your steps. And walk in the newness of who you are in Christ because in Christ we truly do have a new identity all right thanks 
Oh, and before I log off, if you make sure you grab a copy of my book, Navigating the Impossible, Navigating the Impossible, it's on Amazon or navigatingtheimpossiblebook.com. All right, bye.